Okay, so, so our quandary, uh, Murium has a half-life of 15 minutes. You start with 24 grams of it. How much is left after fa five half-lives? What's the answer? 0.75, right? So after the first half-life, there is 12 left, correct? Is that right? After the second, there is six. After the third, there is three. three. <laughs> after the fourth, there's one and a half. And half of one and a half is 0.75, right? So we've cut it in half five times, that's easy, right? Okay. Um, uh, at what time is there only three grams left? Yeah, that's cutting in half three times, right? Okay, so it's cutting in half once to 12, once to six, once to three. That's three half-lives. Three half-lives is 15 minutes each. That's 45, right? Okay. How much is left, um, how much is left after an hour? One and a half is left after an hour, because an hour is exactly, so look for those things, right? An hour is exactly four half-lives, right? Divided in half four times, that's one and a half, right? Okay, so look for those on IB tests, as they'll, you know, they'll give you things, and sometimes there's a real quick answer without using this, because this isn't terribly quick, right? Okay, um, and then uh, after what time are there only 17 grams left? Yep, yep, it's something that's 7.46, um, so do we, should we talk about that? Yeah. Talk, don't talk? Okay, so the thing to do, this is, I'm going to do it the, 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 uh, the way we're supposed to using these formulas, right? So lambda is going to be ln2 divided by 15. Notice I'm using minutes, and I'm not using seconds, and that's because I'm going to get an answer in minutes, right? So I'll show you how this works. This is 15 minutes. Right, and so we go natural log of 2 divided by 15, whoops, okay. This is lambda equals 0 0.0462, I'll say 1, and this is probability per minute, right? It's the probability per minute that it's, that it's going to occur, right? And now we want to solve for the time, and so we go n is n naught e to the minus lambda t, correct? Right? And then if we want to solve this for time, get n over n naught, right? And then, not that, that wasn't all for naught, right? Divided by minus lambda. You love it when people do algebra that way, they just erase stuff, and you're like, ah, 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 I can't do that. Okay? Notice that the time is going to have a reciprocal units of whatever lambda is. So, so this is one over minutes, so time is going to be in minutes when I do this. Okay. So I just have to go natural log of, and then this number is 17 grams. The original number was 24. This is 0 0.04621 approximately, right? Okay. So natural log of 17 divided by 24. Okay. Um, divided by negative the answer that I got previously. And that's 7.46 uh, seconds. Minutes, like I said. <laughs> yeah? So that makes sense because 17 grams is somewhere between 0 and 1 half-life, correct? Yeah, something like that, right? Okay. And remember, it's not a linear th interpolation, but it's, you know, so just remember that curve and you can sort of guess that. And then the second one says, how much is left after 37 minutes? Well, for that one, we're just going to go n is n naught e to the minus lambda t, right? So n is 24 is what we start with, e to the minus, shut your pie holes, point zero four six two one. This is per minute, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Times, and then I'm just going to throw 37 minutes in there, right? Notice that. Notice that. Why else? Notice that the minutes cancel up there, and so we're just fine. I could have turned this into seconds. Turn that into seconds. It still would work. It would still be the same thing, right? I kept it in minutes. Yeah. Right. So 24 times e to the parentheses negative 0 0.04621 times 37. 
and you get 4.34 grams, right? Now, if they gave you, if they gave you something, and it was like a multiple choice test, and they said, well, okay, 2.7 was one of the, um, what are they called, distractors, right? You know, and uh, a 1.4 would be a one, and then you could have one that's like, you know, um, 13 or something like that, right? Well, this is the only one that lies between the two half-lives, right? Because three is one of the half-lives, right? Six is one of the half-lives, right? So they can even give you a distractor that's like a seven or something like that, right? Okay. And you would know that this is the, it's the only one that lies within those, those half-lives and therefore it has to be the correct one, okay? You know, so you could, um, you could look at that. Can't you also, let's just bust out the bootleg formula. Can't you just go 24 times 2 raised to the 37 over uh, 15? Negative, does that work? Has anybody tried that? You didn't dare try it. Bust it out. Take your calculator, just try that. 24 times 2 raised to the, and you have to put it in parentheses, negative 37 divided by 15. Yeah, you can do one half to the whatever multiplied by the original amount. Yeah? Yeah? As long as you understand that, this is a lot faster, I think, and you almost always have the half-life. It's not in the data packet. And, and to, be, to be honest, this is what I learned in, in college. Okay, I don't think I understood that in college, because I wasn't a very good student. <laughs>